People ask, where do you get your ideas? Well, right here. All of this is my Martian landscape. Somewhere in this room is an African veldt. Just beyond, perhaps, is a small Illinois town where I grew up. And I'm surrounded on every side by my magician's toy shop. I'll never starve here. I just look around, find what I need, and begin. I'm Ray Bradbury, and this is... Well then, right now, what shall it be? Out of all this, what do I choose to make a story? I never know where the next one will take me. And the trip? Exactly one half exhilaration, exactly one half terror. If you can't see anything wrong with charging an extra 20 cents a dozen for large eggs, well, then he could just find himself another customer. And you know what? He lowered the price just like that. Don't forget to eat your prunes, all right? Oh, you're out of coffee. I'll get you some more. It's all right. I hope you like it. It's one of those new gourmet decaf blends. You know you have trouble sleeping at night. So you tell me if it's too strong, okay? Now, oh, here's your bacon. There we go. You haven't touched your egg. Is it too runny? Oh, you hate runny eggs. I forgot that. It's okay. Don't worry. I can cook it over again. It'll only take a second. I'll just rinse out the pan. Oh, the weatherman said it was going to rain today, and I see clouds in the sky. So you better take your raincoat just in case. And I put your umbrella in the car last night so you wouldn't forget it. Mwah! Now, you have been sneezing an awful lot lately. Oh, I hope you're not coming down with anything. There is that new bug going around, so you keep yourself bundled up, okay? And don't eat any spicy foods at lunch, because you know they do give you heartburn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, the time. Here we go. There we go. That's nice. Uh -huh. Here we are. There's your coat. There now, old John. What would you do without me? Hold up, all the way It's just a little bit foggy out there. That's it. Now, what's in this wrap here is Yes, Marjorie. Yes, Marjorie. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, now, don't forget to call your sister in Iowa. She's talking about coming out this summer with George and the kids, so we have to get that spare room painted before they get here. Oh, now, remember that movie you wanted to see? It's on tonight. Drive carefully now. Have a good day. I don't... Now, look out for that car. A man's been calling you, but he won't leave his name. He called again. There's his number. It's bizarre. You call, they don't leave a message, they don't leave a name. Mr. John R. Raving. Joe name John Roy Raving. 
8 of bed, March 21st, 1930. Height, 5 feet, 10 and a half inches. Weight, 215 pounds. Eyes, hazel brown. Metal history, mild heart condition. Blood type, RH negative. Car cited, uses prescribed. Medication, Cetapol, frequent user of aspirin. Occasionally uses Valium. Marital status, married. Life first name, laboratory. Hobbies, model airplane no, living, fly fishing, woodworking, crossword puzzles. Sports. Pool, checkers, poker, televised football, and baseball. Besides hockey and tennis, favorite television show, you are virgin. Now, I'll just demonstrate this telephone connection modem on this very special program. What about compatibility? Oh, it's completely compatible. Marionettes, Incorporated. We cattle person. Personal data sheet, Mr. John. That's uh, very creative. <laughs> it's just a little joke. March 21st, 1930. Height, 5 feet, 10 and inches. Why don't we arrange another time for you to come back in once you have the bugs worked out? John, what the hell are you doing here? I need a drink. A scotch neat, please. I thought drinking gave you a heart. Don't you start. That's fine. Thank you. Come here. John, what's wrong? You look terrible. You want to know what's wrong? Yeah. I'll show you what's wrong. You won't believe this. Now look at this. Every time I punch into my A3 program, and look what happens. That's all I get. This is a joke. No joke. All right, then, what is it? I don't know. That's the problem. Look at that thing. It knows everything about me. It has every scrap of information. How I, how I look, how I act, how I think. It's all there. Whoever's doing this must be following you. Crane, I only sell the computers. I don't own the company. Why would anyone want to follow me? Oh, here, look at this. Marionettes, Inc. We shadow forth. This is weird. Maybe they want to blackmail you. Blackmail me? I haven't done anything. Why would anyone want to blackmail me? Have you been fooling around? Are you kidding, fooling around? You know Marjorie? How can I, where, where would I be fooling around? I just don't get it. Why me? Why don't you ask them yourself? Ask them? Look, uh, somebody must have something on you. I mean, what they're doing is illegal, right? And digging into your private life. I wouldn't put up with it. If I were you, I'd pay these guys a visit. You would? Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Another hall.
Hello? What the hell are you people up to? Hello! There is no need to shout, Mr. Brailing. You? Are you in charge here? Yes. My name is Fantuccini. Well, I want to know, what, what the hell do you think you're doing following me around and digging into my life? What are we doing? Why, we're helping you, Mr. Brailing. Helping me? Yes, helping you. How the hell would you want to help me? You don't even know me. And I sure as hell don't know you. Well, we're helping you because, uh, because you are. You live, you exist. You, you with the government? Oh. <laughs> No, no. Far from it. I suppose you could call me a social worker of sorts. Tell me, Mr. Brailing, are you happy with your life? Happy? Happy? Of course I'm happy. Listen to your voice. have no right. Any human being has a right to meddle, to intervene, to step forward when he sees a sad man rushing to the edge of the cliff toward his own destruction. You are that man, Mr. Brailing, a species of one, self-endangered. I don't know what you're getting at. I don't know what you, I don't like it. You can live again, Mr. Brailing. Do you hear me? Live. Wow. Come with me. <laughs> Observe, Mr. Brailey. to my chest. It even sounds like me. It's perfect in every way, Mr. Brayley, an exact copy. Right down to the ingrown nail on the little toe of your right foot. Don't forget to tell him about the birthmark. He's got my birthmark? It's all right, I, I believe him. Dan, he's, he must have cost a fortune. Why, why would you build it? It is the new age, Mr. Brailing. Look at it. Marvel at its wonders. It can be yours. Oh, wait a minute. Now I get it. You expect me to buy this? Forget it. No way. Observe, Mr. Brailing. Are these all robots? I suppose in layman's terms you could say that. But these are much more than that. These are uh, a chance, uh, a gamble, an opportunity to reclaim your life. Surely you've had fantasies, Mr. Willing, the vacation you never took, Paris, Rome, Rio, the Club Med, maybe, uh, a few uh, women you had your eye on, hmm? 
think of it, Mr. Railing. He could stay home with your wife, and you could, uh, well, uh, do whatever you want. Not a bad deal. Hmm? Forget it. No way. What, what would a thing like that cost me, anyway? The exact amount in your savings account, Mr. Railing, uh, $25,000. $25,952.50, to be exact. My life savings. We have a financing plan for everyone, Mr. Railing. You could, you could pay in installments. Very easy payments. $5,000 down should close the deal. $25,000? I, I, I could never do that. $25,000? I, I want to get the hell out of here. Think about it, Mr. Grayling. Think about the possibilities. Yes. Think of the possibilities and see it's madness. Just think about it. Think about it, Mr. Brayling. Madness! Madness. Scotch, please. Uh, make it a double for my friend. Brayling, my God, you haven't come here at night since you got married. Haven't I? I didn't know that. Here, to life. I don't get it. You look like the little boy who just discovered there really is a Santa Claus. Crane, there is a Santa Claus. And Tinkerbell, and the Tooth Fairy, and the Easter Bunny, and that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Brailing, what the hell are you talking about? What am I talking about? You really want to know what I'm talking about? Well, I'll show you. Shh. Go on. Shh. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, put it on his bill, you? Hey, Give us something nice, Jeff. <laughs> Twin brother? Better than that. Remember that stuff on the computer screen? Yeah. Remember the black card? Marionette's ink. <laughs> you mean they... They did indeed. Down to every last detail. Except for a weird heartbeat. Isn't he perfect? He's better than perfect. He's my freedom. No wonder you look so happy. Happy? I'm mad with happiness. I keep him in the basement and I trade places with him two, three times a day. Oh, He's my salvation. My declaration of independence, my deliverance. John Brailing is free at last. Free? You mean you've been out every night this last week? Every night, all night, every day, all day. Movies, bowling, all the things I've wanted to do. Wine, women, and song? <laughs> I hadn't thought about women. Think about it. I would. When do you leave in town? Leave me in town? Yeah, Paris, Rome, Rio, Club Med. Surely you've got a plan. I haven't made any plans. But this is fantastic. Every man should have one. That's for sure. Well, you're just a coffee, honey. She seems to be enjoying herself. Yeah. Ah, who cares? How do I get in touch with these people? Live! How much? Every last cent in your bank account. And don't try to lie to them. They know exactly what you've got. Do you really think it's worth all that much? <laughs> Every, Every last penny! <laughs>
of our money is gone. What in God's name are you thinking of? Wake up. What have you done? What? Have you done? Oh, what a dear. You're so thoughtful. Oh, John. I don't believe this. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, 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 John, oh, oh, look, they're beautiful. Oh, oh, my goodness. John, what's wrong? Nothing. I have to go downstairs. I, I want to check the furnace. I'll be right back. Why don't you take the champagne to bed with you? All right. Okay? Mm. I'll be right back. You better be. Don't be long. <laughs> Time for me to go back in my box. What the hell are you up to? Champagne. What am I supposed to do now that you've got it all riled up? You know how hard it is to go up there and pretend you haven't been around? You're acting like a damn fool, like the perfect little husband. I couldn't imitate you. Another thing, what are all those presents you're getting, my wife? Hmm? You've got some nerve. From now on, you check with me on every action you make. You got that? No. No? No. I've been watching you and your wife very carefully. At first, I sympathize with you. Your reason for buying me, your motive. But then, but then, but then that was before I really got to know your wife. We've been doing a lot of talking while you're away, doing whatever it is you do. Talking about what? All the things you should have talked about a long time ago. The way you changed, how cold you've grown, always busy at work. Never having a minute, not a minute, to tell her that you love her. Now, wait a minute. Shutting your poor wife out of your life, driving her insane with your indifference. She did everything for you. Kept the house clean. Cooked you wonderful meals. Gave you massages. Anything to get your attention. Shut up, you love. Shut up! Braille. Do you really know what it feels like to be trapped? Where were you going? I, 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 was, just, I was just going upstairs. Uh, the wife. We were talking too loudly. Let's consider it. Sure you weren't going to call Marionettes Incorporated? Why would I do that? To tell them to take me away. <laughs> of course not. That's silly. No. Have you been talking to my wife? Did she put you up to this? That dear, sensitive woman. She'd never think of a thing like this. What are you going to do? Second honeymoon, I think. Six months, South America, Rio. I already bought the tickets. My wife will love it. South America? Your wife? Yes, Mr. Braley. My wife. No. What are you going to do? I'll, I'll give you anything. I already have everything, Mr. Braley.
We're flying down to Rio, to Rio, to Rio, the land of romance. What were you doing down the basement? I heard a noise. Just a rat. Oh, my hero. <laughs> Oh, John. Oh, John.